Hi, I am Shelly Klontz. I'm an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. Uh, my ID number is 82707. And I'm gonna show you guys today a little bit about how to prepare and organize things before and during you before and during a live Facebook $5 jewelry sale. Facebook Lives, if you haven't done one, if you're new to the company, those are the way to go. You can sell a lot of jewelry, you don't require a hostess, you can kind of do things on your own time. So there, there are some guidelines. One of the trickiest ways though is to get organized. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about how I prep for a party. All right, so I might have to take you out of the thing a little bit or not, I don't know. We'll see. All right, so first of all, you are in my jewelry room. It is, the walls are, it's my spare bedroom. They are Justin Bieber purple, because did you know Justin Bieber had a signature color? I neither, but my teenage niece painted this. And in it, I have my pegboards, which I'll show you. These are, there's all kinds of directions on the internet about how to make these pegboards. You don't have to use them, however, they make my life a lot easier. Oh, text message. I like to keep them in here. I'm, I, I'm trying to keep the jewelry contained to one room at the moment. So, what I do, I usually show about 100 pieces in, well, 85 to 100 pieces. The more you show, the more you sell. It's a general rule. So when I'm doing a live, I like to make, the first thing I like to show are my rings. So I have from the paparazzi back office, one of these nifty ring holders. They're really cool because paparazzi bands are usually, not always, but some of the thicker ones. So these are the ring displays, holds the thick rings nicely. And so I'll show rings first. Because the more people, the later it goes, the more people hop on. So necklaces are my best seller. I save necklaces for last. So this is a little bit about how I organize. So the first thing I do, I show rings. I usually show about 16 rings. And then let me take you guys out of them. And I always knock stuff over during a live, so don't be alarmed. And the next thing I do, actually, why don't I? I have to flip you that way. No, I won't. I'm going to have to learn how to edit this is I set up my board. I usually like to show around 16 rings, 20 earrings, 20 bracelets, 20 short necklaces, and 20 long necklaces. Gets me around 100 more or less. So my top row, I've got it set up. These are earrings. If you can see, I'll take the numbers off right there. So those are earrings. And then my next row is bracelets, whole row of bracelets. And then I go down to short necklaces. And then I go to long necklaces down on the bottom. And one of the things I try to do, if it has a matching bracelet or earrings, I try to put it with it and show it together. I find that helps a lot. Uh, one of the other things that I just got, this is my mannequin. Get her in the shot here. Her name is Antoinette. She's French. No, I don't know why. We had a naming contest in my VIP group to name her. So. Antoinette is the winner because, like her predecessor, she's headless. So, some more things. I wonder if I can flip this around. I don't even know. That's exciting. So, one of the other things that I use, you can find these, you can make them yourself, but when you do a Facebook Live video, everything is backwards. So this is not gonna necessarily be backwards, probably. So you can see one side, is the normal side that I see, and then your client or your customers see the backwards side. I never get it right. It's a running joke at this point. So I bought these off Amazon. They were relatively cheap, but they are a lifesaver, and they come, they're numbered from one to 100. So a pet peeve of mine is making sure that my jewelry is in number order. I've watched lives before with other consultants where they jump around. They'll show 43, then 67, and 22, and it makes me nuts. So. My jewelry is in order, but that's me, and I'm, I have a pet peeve about it. So, some other things that I'm going to show you real quick. Down here, how I keep organized. When a customer claims something, so let's say they buy this beautiful necklace that I haven't given a number yet. So, they're like, ooh, sold, item 92. I put it in a bucket, just like these. I bought these at Dollar Tree. Actually, all my stuff comes from the Dollar Tree because you get like two for a dollar and it's well worth it. I, so I put their jewelry in the bucket and then I have this big stack of index cards that I probably also bought at the Dollar Tree and they're my regular customers. It makes my life easier so I'm not constantly writing things down. I'll be like, oh, 
Angela, Angela bought this necklace. So I'll be like, I'll just put Angela's card right in and I can see it. And you can see I have my little line going here. So these are some people, let me show you there. There you go. Some people who already bought some things. Sometimes I pre-post things in my VIP group to kind of get interest. So, and then I keep them organized like that and I end up with buckets and baskets all over this. I bought a six foot table here and put in my jewelry room. And you can see over there, I also have an ironing board. I gotta get another table, but my ironing board does it in a pinch. So as that's basically what I do, I also keep blank index cards. Whoops, there you go. Blank index cards and some Sharpies handy. And you can see I have these lights here. I won a lighting kit from my upline. I have, I'm on the most amazing team. So the lighting makes it helpful. I was doing live sales in my dining room with, under the big light, but then I got this lighting kit and then I realized I could move my jewelry into one room. And so far that has made my life much easier. I really enjoy the lighting kit and the lighting. So you can buy those on Amazon too. I move the lights around as the sun goes down and different things. All right. Put you guys back in the holder. And a good, I have an, um, a phone holder that makes life easier too. And then sometimes, like if I'm showing necklaces, I can be up. If I'm showing rings and earrings and my feet hurt after a while, I have a little stool here. I can sit down and I just move my phone down. Um, what my phone, my phone is actually propped up on, I'll show you. Just some paparazzi boxes I got in the mail. So formal jewelry orders and then I try to keep especially for earrings people like to know how big they are so I try to keep change like a quarter in a dime to kind of give people an idea of how how big they are how small they are so people they ask a lot of a lot of those questions so if you guys have any questions for me you can leave them in the comments or on my Facebook page so that is all I have about how to organize and keep organized during a Facebook Live. Thanks guys, bye.